Alright, finally made it out of there. Um, we are done with Norfair for now. And we're going back to your favorite, Meridia. I know. Aren't you excited? I know I am. Not really. I hate, I hate Meridia. This is terrible. Alright, when you're getting out of here, it's pretty much just a mad dash at this point because I've messed up my health so bad. Um, <clears throat> if you're in the same situation, which you kind of will be, try to use your Crystal Flash and Power Bombs wisely at the same time. Um, I did not save myself a power bomb. And it would have been nice to have up here because I need to go through these three bombable blocks again. However, I have to use one bomb at a time, so that takes a little while. Yeah, right here. Nice to have a power bomb. And also, because I got that energy tank earlier in this little cave room up here. I'm going to have to skip the set of power bombs that you can get here. Sorry about that. I would have liked to have gotten them, but it's not like anything spectacular to get them, so. part about that room back there, the x-ray beam doesn't work, and I never really thought of going through that mouth at the beginning, so that energy tank back there was the last item I actually found on my own. Oh, if you're wondering where the power bombs are there, they were to the right, instead of going left in that room we were just in, you go right. Um, you can get those, I think there are a set of missiles in there somewhere too. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm gonna screw attack through these little little pillars here. Save yourself some time. I turn on my super missiles here, just in case I have to kill one of these things. I didn't want to get hit by them and die. That would suck. And now we're back here. <coughs> At this point, I forget that I need to kill Crocomire before I go to kill Dragon, and I totally leave Norfair. Um which I didn't need to do at all. So, if you don't want to watch me running out of here and then coming all the way back, you can skip this part. And I'll just put it back to right there where I was in that bubble room. But I guess it is kind of cool to watch Samus run through those little things. I always try to save my charge after I get to that room, and it never works. It's not fast enough. Though I could do it before I get to the door. Yeah, as far as I know, you have to you have to have the grappling beam to get to Dracon. I think it might be possible to get to him without it, but that's a lot of freezing enemies that I don't want to mess with. And I really I can't remember you being able to do that. Just because the rooms are full of quicksand, um, you can't jump or anything, and it's just, it's a pain. So, anyway, we are going to go back and fight Crocodile. now. Yep, now we're back here. Um, you can kill these enemies with screw attack, not with your beam. Amazingly. Luckily for us, there is an energy refill thing right here. There is a, a quicker way to get that energy refill. You can move while you're attached to it, but I didn't do that. Sorry about that. Maybe I'll do it later. And here we go. Uh, this is going to be a long fight because I don't have any super missiles. I only have my beam. No plasma beam either. Plasma beam is pretty cool to kill Crocodile with. Um, yeah, he pretty much dies in like one or two hits. So it's pretty sweet. I remember when 
I first played this game, after you kill Krakomire, he comes back as a skeleton, and thinking, holy crap, I'm almost dead, there's no way I'm going to be able to kill this guy again, and then he just falls apart. I was both disappointed and relieved at the same time. Oh, no, he's dead. Poor little guy. I'm pretty sure... Well, yeah, I'm definitely sure that um, if I had taken off the screw attack, I could have done a spin jump right there and just done a shoulder charge all the way across this little pool of acid that I jump into. Um... But yeah, you can't... I don't think you can do a mid-air shoulder charge while you have the screw attack on. Unfortunately. Or maybe if I would have just jumped straight up... No, that wouldn't have worked. I don't know. But it would have been a lot better than running through that acid. From. It's late. It's like 3.15. I should be in bed. This is another place to get the power bombs early, if you want to. You can simply, um, run, jump up there. Easy stuff. Get the power bombs here the first time, or you can get them uh, at the top of Red Brinstar. I don't actually know which one you're supposed to get first. I guess that's the good thing about Super Metroid, there's no real order that you have to get things in, which is nice. Okay, um, I go in the store here, and then I remember that I want to go in there later. So, I just turn around. This part here, um, kind of mess up on. There are some missiles up above there that we could have gotten, but I didn't. Sorry about that. Grappling beam! And you can just get out of here this way. Now, technically, you're supposed to go up after you get the grappling beam. Um, and go out that way, but with some wall jumping, you can just go back the way you came in. It's a lot faster. Or, as you're almost going to see here in a second, uh, you can do it a little more quickly than that, even. Get these missiles here, for whatever reason. And then we want to build ourselves a shine spark. Make sure the ass is down. And then jump! But not like that. <laughs> just stay close to the door and you'll be fine. Otherwise, you can just wall jump up. I always like this room. I don't know why. It just seemed kind of out of place, but. It's kind of like a break room. There's a save point down there and stuff. And it's nice. Oh yeah, little speed trick there. Um, no, it's not really that important because in a speed run, unless you're doing a hundred percent run, um, you won't be getting the grapple beam at all. It's just not necessary. Um, it is slightly more useful than the x-ray beam, I think. 